Okay. We are on page 30 here, and I know we're not quite there yet. I haven't released uh, anything between page 20 and 30. I just wanted to point out that uh, uh, what's going on here is Parker Still, the FBI agent, is testifying um, right here. And he's talking about uh, how he uh, came to be wrapped up in this case. And he says that they received information from USAA about a fraud that had occurred. All right. That's all I wanted to pull out of the, the transcripts. What I want to show you um, on the Mike O'Brien channel today is where I got this information. He says that it comes from Taryn and Heather's camp. This is Taryn right here, Taryn Cognito. And the vice president of USAA fraud division resigns or fired as of July 2017, um, which is after Hat J and Randy's uh, fraud that was reported by USAA. And uh, it looks like he's on a LinkedIn page here. And so I just put into a search engine, Tom Shaw, USAA, the very first thing that pops up is a LinkedIn return. So let's click on that and see what we find. It says, uh, Senior Consultant and Fraud and Anti-Money Laundering Operations, Analytics and Organizational Design. He's in the San Antonio, Texas area. Uh, currently he's independent, previously at USAA Bank and also Bank of America. And he, uh, went to school at Texas Tech. So we scroll down here a little bit and under experience he already has an entry that he's independent. That's of August uh, 2017. And so just to document for everybody timeanddate.com we are August 14th 2017 2.47 in the afternoon. So he's a senior consultant in fraud, risk management, analytics, operational efficiency, blah, blah, blah. 33 years experience in bank back office operations, call center management, consumer and small business lending, private banking, e-commerce, digital banking, retail branch banking, anti-money laundering, and financial crimes management. Look at this. Well, you know, I am down the Gematria rabbit hole. It's interesting uh, to see 33 years experience in, uh, in anything, anything that's 33, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on that too much. What I wanna point, really focus on is uh, we got, we got Bank back office operations. I mean, that right there says a lot about who this guy is. This guy has to know a whole lot about the system. So look, from April 2006 to July 2017, so 11 years and four months, uh, he was the vice president of uh, the Enterprise Financial Crimes Management USAA. And how interesting that, uh, you know, we were looking at the docket info for Randy Bean's case, the one that was filed, uh, initially reported to uh, Parker Still, the FBI agent. Uh, as far as he knows, that came from USAA. And so, look, July 18th, July 26th, 27th, 31st, and you know, Heather's arrested August 4th. Uh, she's got a filing here. Uh, she was arrested sometime in July. I, I don't remember the actual date right now. 
Um, but at some point, uh, we should just have a master file uh, of everything that's been going on. I think Heather's Camp already has that. Wow, so the very last thing that happened, really, at the Fraud Department, Financial Crimes Management, USAA, in July 2017, which is at the same time that this guy leaves employment with USAA. Now, we don't know why he left employment. Um, Mike O'Brien did a lot of speculating in his video, and uh, I am going to hold a different energy. And I'm going to say that uh, all we know is that he, on LinkedIn, he's claiming himself as independent. It looks like uh, he's no longer with USAA. Uh, we don't know if he retired or um, was fired or anything like that. We just have no idea. But what an observation. It's just a big exclamation point to have the, the vice president in charge of the fraud division at USAA Bank leave concurrently with the case that is ongoing right here in Washington or in Tennessee well this is the Washington DC hearing but uh, Randall Bean's case this guy's leaving USAA I smell a rat there's something going on here and this is just an observation that needs more explanation and we just keep uh, we just keep documenting these and uh, you know Heather's Heather had a quote in one of the recent phone calls and and it's pretty pretty potent and that's that you you can't expect to correct the corruption you can only expect to shine light on it to expose it for what it is um, You know, I don't know necessarily that this guy leaving USAA Bank is a sign of corruption, but it there <laughs> something's going on, uh, and and I have a feeling that it's part of this case. I, you know, I can't even say that, but wow, let's uh, let's look at all the things that that are going on here and say this needs to be looked into further.